So you've been playing Sea of Thieves for a couple of months now, and you think you know enough that you consider yourself a good player, right? No! You're wrong! Don't touch that keyboard! Sea of Thieves is constantly evolving and changing, and while you may think you're caught up, you might be missing some things that might improve your gameplay and your PvP skills. So today I'm going to show you 5 tips that will make you instantly better at the game. My first tip that I have is enabling the setting Reduce Hold to Interact. You know when you're boarding someone and you need to anchor them? So you run to the capstan and start holding R, but die a second later because you didn't have a free finger to move? This tip can help with your problem. To do this, go to settings, then gameplay, then turn on reduce hold to interact. Once you turn on the reduce hold to interact option, then you can simply tap R to do the command, then it'll free up your finger to do whatever you please. Whether that is lowering the anchor on an enemy ship, or loading a cannonball into your cannon, and then winding up your shot on the enemy ship. However, you still need to keep within range of your interaction since you'll still have the second that it takes to do the action. My second tip that I want to give you is holding the right mouse button or LT on the controller to actually aim down the sights on the cannons. There have been too many times where I've come up to a naval battle and the boat was too far away for me to see. When I couldn't see them, I shot in the general direction of their boat because I had no idea where they were. Now you don't have to worry about trying to guess and waste cannonballs because zooming in makes it way easier to see the boat in front of the cannons. This could help with firing chain shots at a boat so that you can see the mass more clearly. This can also help you see enemies on their boats and knock them off farther and easier with your blunder bomb. And while we're on the subject of cannons, here's a secret tip. If you play on PC, you can use WASD to aim with your cannons. You wouldn't think I would have to say that, but you might be surprised. If you play on PC, you can use WASD to aim with your cannons. The third tip that I want to tell you about is pressing Q on the keyboard or down on the D-pad while firing cannons. This will give you a radial menu of everything that you can shove in the cannons, including, but not limited to, cannonballs, cursed cannons, blunder bombs, fire bombs, chain shots, and your pet cat. This will make firing shots way easier during a fight because it allows for you to switch quickly from chain shots to cannonballs for when you finally knock down an enemy's mast and need to shoot their hull. Not only is it useful for cannonballs, but it's also useful for fireworks so you don't have to hold your chicken firework in your hand when someone's running away from you like a little bitch. Just hold Q to access it. The fourth tip I have for you guys is to hold F if you're on keyboard to move things over faster from your barrel to your inventory or vice versa. This way when you're in the heat of battle and need as many wood planks, cannonballs, and whatever else you can fit in your pockets, all you have to do is hold F and it'll be over faster than you can say, ANOTHER CURSED CANNONBALL? What the fuck? You just need to make sure that whatever you want to go into your inventory is highlighted so that the UI knows what you want carried over. Before I reveal the last tip that I have, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. I've been pumping out as much Sea of Thieves content as I can and would love for you to see what I do. So please subscribe if you want to see more cool content like this and maybe watch another one of my videos. Alright, the fifth and last tip that I have for you is to turn your sound effects volume all the way up. Sometimes you're chasing a boat and the next thing you know you're getting slashed by the crew in front of you and you say, how did he get on my boat? I didn't even hear him. It's probably because your sound effects volume is too far down. Disgusting! So go to settings, audio settings, Look for sound effects volumes and turn that bad boy all the way up. There you go. Now you'll be able to hear every swashbuckler that climbs your ladder so you can greet them at the top with a face full of blunderbuss. And those are the five tips that I have for you. Now you can go out in the seas and defend your ship like a pro and kill some pirates. If you like this video, how about you visit my other video where I join open crews and learn the hard way just how much people love to use a blunderbomb. And if you have any tips that you want to share, leave them down in the comments below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and consider subscribing because it helps me out a lot. I'll see you guys later and wind in your sails.